Ah, oh, crap. I forgot I was researching another close air support. You're right. I thought I'd already got the, the top level. No, that was a mistake on my part. I mean, we are doing quite a lot of air battles, although actually that's a point. I should be shifting my fighters forwards because I haven't been doing that. Let's have you chasing them. Let's have you... Oh, these are the interceptions. I don't think interceptions are so important anymore. Let's have you chasing them. Then let's have you chasing them. Just so I can basically automate all of my air force. One of my favorite features. Just, just, just follow those guys. It's fine. You're all active. You two aren't. You can chase them. And you're strategic bombing, so you're 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 doing your own thing. That's fine. And in here, you're all assigned. Okay, good. Because this way, they'll automatically fill in forwards as the uh, units move forwards. Oh, another cut off. Do feel free to kill them. So who's going to fall first? China or the Soviets? I think got a cut off as, whoops, as well. 15 divisions. Yeah, I'm not sure that you need 15 divisions doing this. Let's split half of them off and send them here. There's no way I can protect those convoys. If I keep losing them over there, then I'll need to go and have another look at my trade. Yeah, it's my ships coming from France that are being intercepted. Unfortunately, France is just the best source right now. guys just ballooning in. How many is trying to lost now? 2.7 million. I've lost 389,000. We're just giving them absolutely no time to recover. What shortage is? We still have a shortage of guns, we still have a shortage of motorized, but again we are switching out motorized for mechanized. So I feel like we should be building more mechanized than we are right now. Because we don't seem to be making a surplus at all. I don't think we need this many strategic bombers. I mean, strategic bombers are nice. They're not that nice. And we can do, like, one more set. Let's do this. Okay, now I have way too much aluminium. So we can reduce what we're buying from France. Sorry, France. And... Try to buy a bit more from Denmark, I guess. Damn it, stop getting injured. I've never seen officers get this injured before. Yes, sir. Which is really annoying, because Rose is the one that I really want to get experience. You're level 5, 98%. Alright, let's give Vondergrift a little bit of experience then. Although you are definitely the naval dude, so you're going to get near naval liaison. So your shore bombardments do more better. How are these guys doing? We only want one of you. And... Griswold is back. Good. Bring you back instead of Stillwell. Patch is doing well. Patch is the only one who hasn't been getting injured. And he's getting tons of experience because of it. And Collins is also... Actually, Collins is doing pretty well in that position. Orders.
Getting trickster or skilled staffer would be quite good. Not to mention Hodge is also probably getting tons of experience. Yeah, pretty much. Dockyards, does that mean my carrier just finished? Nope, you are still under construction. We just got some more dockyards. Um, let's get some more convoys just to ensure that we can actually support all of this. Although, with the lack of steel at the moment, Convoys aren't really helping much. Let's go and develop Minnesota a bit more. And... More infrastructure. Maybe I will keep China. Because China has a lot of resources, especially there in the south. Oh, you know the other thing that I need? I need you to ensure that we don't have sabotage in the rear lines. So you need 24, so we're going to need more cavalry as well. Let's get another 12 of those divisions in training. We just have no infantry equipment for you. Uh, the other thing is we do need to research military police at some point, because we still haven't done that either. All right. Taking aim. Uh... Why do you s just stop there? Did I tell you to stop over there? Pretty sure I didn't. Although, actually, let's have you going to about... Nah, sod it. You can go all the way. Because I want you two to kill... Ready to move. ...that. And then I also want to give you a new order, which is not going to go for this. Well, actually, it is, but not quite. I now want this to be a spear point. Then I want the purples to make their way up to here. Them. Wrong purple. Looking at the pinks. Belg Samla. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the ta uh, channel. <laughs> Confederate USA states invading China not historical? Yeah, absolutely historical. Latvia beating the USSR? Completely historical. <clears throat> hey, Eagle. Was going pretty well so far. Sinking Soviet ships. That must mean... They've lost Archangel, so all of the Soviet shipping is going to be coming over this way. Well, wouldn't it then be an absolute shame, real shame, if suddenly all of the American submarines were to be positioned over here? I mean, it would be dreadful, wouldn't it? In fact, I would say that you guys... Whoa, I have 83 ships ready? <laughs> okay. I have a lot of ships that aren't assigned to anything yet. We need to do something about that in a moment. I need to start building some more battleships. Which means I need more battleship technology. Um, getting distracted. 
Whoa, that's a lot of experience. Like completely maxed out veterans. Max experience veterans. What I was saying was I want you to stop going there and to start going here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is begin creating some more convoy fleets. Not convoy, escort. Although that being said, I do actually need escort fleets. You've got 10 out of 10, okay. So that's you done. Then I'm going to say... This entire... We're going to make this into an escort fleet. And I'll be clicking here for a while. Click, 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 click. Unfortunately, you can only get to 99. And this is going to be escorts. Save. And then your job is going to be, obviously, to escort my transports. Screening and positioning. Ole Burke seems to be the man for this job. Never seen that stat before. That's pretty good. Even Britain doesn't have one of those. You're going to be convoy escort, and I want you off my own coast. Representative speaks passionately in support of the government. Hooray. Can only cover at least... Two convoys efficiently for convoy escorting. Uh, well, actually, we can see exactly where the convoys are going, so we don't need to do all of that, for instance. Nor do we need to do that. Nor that. Nor that. It's because there's one ship in this convoy. That's why we can't do it very effectively. We need these guys to join it. Come back to you. <laughs> Another injury. What on earth are you guys doing? Y you know, generals aren't supposed to be on the front line, guys. Because this is getting a little bit ridiculous. That was Collins, right? Which is you. So Collins can be replaced by Stillwell. No, you can't, because you're the mechanized army. Uh, Stevenson. Wait, who's Stevenson? Yes, sir. Oh, he must be one of these guys. Okay. Pushing them back, sir. And... Wait, still was fine. 
Who's wounded? None of them. Still was fine. Move out. Ready. I have no idea who that is. Thank you for the long O and Minister Water. You're welcome. I don't know where I picked that up from. MacGyver, maybe? Because I know MacGyver is technically from Minister Water. Denmark's being pushed back, are they? Uh, maybe. Yeah, they probably are. You know who's not being pushed back, though? Britain. Italy's in trouble. Italy's in real trouble. And they're about to get cut off here. Who on earth is this? Oh, here we go. Australia. Browser crashed, reload, and you got the man in the high castle, lad. <laughs> Has absolutely no relevance to this at all, I'm sure. You know, kudos to the one claimer claiming to that one destroyer claiming to be able to cover two destroyers at once. Uh, to... Oh God, no, I can't speak properly. To that one destroyer for claiming to be able to screen two convoys at once. Well, of course, it's, it's one of my destroyers. My destroyers are capable of inhuman feats of destruction. Let's get some better advanced rubber production. Now I don't need to import quite as much, so I can reduce what I'm getting from Siam. I can reduce what I'm getting from the British Raj. And from the French Commune. And from Belgium. And everyone else seems to be relatively truthful in what they're exporting to me. Oh, that cancels all your trip. I did not re even realise that. I've never pressed that button before. Meanwhile, steel shortages are still super duper low. French should have enough to export. Why weren't they? Oh, because the naval route efficiency. Um, right. Why have you still not got the rest of your fleet? We should. This is set up correctly. No, it's not. You need to be that, and light cruiser needs to be one of those. That one, I think. Yep. <laughs> that did it. 55% coverage for all of this. But I don't think that you need to cover this side. I think you only need to cover the Atlantic. So what I'm thinking right now is maybe try to cover like this. That's a 71% coverage. Uh, 
We do have enough convoys for this. We're just being intercepted somewhere. By somebody. And as soon as I find out who... Pain. Lots of pain. Aha! Cut off. Excellent. So, let's get... None of the tanks over there. We're just going to use yes, you sir. to attack that. And we're going to use you to attack that. Go. And go. Oh, and then also a cutoff down here. Fantastic. Hello. Thank you. Ooh, and the Greens have done their job too. Interesting. Alright, seriously, how much has China still got to fight here? A fair amount. Where are their victory points going to be? I mean, I know there's a couple here. There's a couple here. Oh, right, yeah, we don't actually have Beijing yet. Let's just say I want this. Go. And then you... Uh, are we at war with these guys? Yes, we are. In which case, let's just cut them in half with that force. Right, and then the greens... I'm just going to say, I want that. Good luck. You have your orders? Now see to it that they are carried out. Twenty-three thousand guns short. Whoops. Oh, now we have a surplus of medium tanks. So we can definitely reduce the number of those that we are producing. And let's just make some more guns for a time. Something like that. Now I have too much aluminium. And too much rubber. I'm okay with a bit of a surplus of rubber. I want to make sure that I keep importing it. And then I also want to make sure that we are upgrading all of this. Although at this point I think that the infrastructure situation is basically sorted. Because we control so much coastline that supply can basically come in any direction it will spread itself out um, in which case I should probably do this a little bit more scientifically you're not that important you're not that important neither are you neither are you Neither are you. You two are. You're on, well, you are as well. Actually, no you're not. I'm doing this purely based on what resources I get. Because I want to make sure that the resource heavy locations are getting the bonuses, particularly where the steel is from. Speaking of steel, let's expand Ohio and Indiana as well. Now, bearing in mind, that's 12 steel base, which is then further multiplied or modified by the amount of infrastructure I have in those areas, and we have quite a lot of infrastructure in those areas now. How are you fighting back? Ready to 
move. Because all of that is so much just not your problem. Purples can deal with it. And then we'll shift the purples up here. China's looking a little bit struggling. Latvia is starting to be invaded. Oh dear. Uh. How? I love the fact that Latvia has lost 45,000 troops in this entire conflict. And yet. <laughs> they're getting all of that. Now if you say, yeah sure, you betcha, you'll be one of us Minnesotans. If you have a client state that you get all the way down to being a next, you get their province's manpower. You mean... Um... Yes. Kind of. There are basically two types of manpower. There's core manpower and there's non-core manpower. Actually, there's three types of manpower. Core manpower, non-core manpower, puppet manpower. Puppets basically have core manpower on their own provinces and then you can use their provinces to recruit. The proportion of their manpower you use and the proportion of your manpower you use depends on what level uh, client state they are. So if they are an integrated puppet, the majority of the unit's manpower will be from them and only a small portion will be from you. If it's a colony, then it's like 50-50 or something like that. Um, if you annex a puppet, then you do get access to their manpower, but you won't have cores on that territory. In which case, you generate something like 0.002% of their manpower becomes eligible military manpower for you. Um, so it's it's not very efficient. If you're having manpower problems, you actually kind of want to use them as a puppet and then recruit their regiments in your army. And the way you do that is when you are designing a... Well, I'm getting lost here. Uh, designing a template, there's this button up here, you can click it, and then that will give you a breakdown of all of their templates. You can then copy one of those templates to add it to your own division designer thing, and then you can tweak it and everything, and it will use their manpower instead of yours, but you still have to equip it. So that's, for example, what Britain does a lot. It can use Canadian, Australian, Indian, New Zealander, South African manpower, but using their own gear. Or with the exile governments, they can also use the exile manpower. Uh, is there anything else I want to... Yes, I want support companies. Field hospitals, because this is going to become a manpower issue. In the long term. How, how are you... Twelve divisions. Twelve! Just, just take it out, guys. It's not rocket science. Kill them. Move out. Thank you. That felt Ready. a lot harder than it actually was. And you set up a line on the wrong thing. Of course you did. <laughs> 